Hey guys, let me walk you through probably the hardest week I've ever done in my career. Although maybe it's probably the second hardest week, but the other time was like two years ago. I had a really hard week in a training camp, but it was way over my limit. And I actually got injured and was injured three months after. So that I wouldn't really count that. So this is basically it. This is the week. And I'm actually really proud I managed to finish it. And especially the last weekend was really, really hard. And I struggled a lot. And at some points, I actually thought I couldn't do it. But the more proud it makes me that I actually managed to finish it. Let's back up a little bit. Go back um, the last two weeks. And I was coming from my last World Cup race in New Plymouth. Had two days of recovery training after, after the race. And then dived straight back in into hard training. And that was basically the beginning of the three hard weeks. I just managed to finish now. In the first week, it was all about getting back into hard training and long training especially. With, uh, on the one hand rather longish sessions like for example swimming over 6k and riding three hours but the main focus in the hard sessions was definitely to in increase my vo2 max and i had a few sessions uh, in this week already and also the following week um, a lot of vo2 max sessions um, in the swim on the bike and on the run as well and after a week of VO2 max training, I was slowly diving in into threshold training. The threshold training started to begin on the weekend of the second week. And as you can see, the second week um, already had a lot of volume and of course as well a lot of intensity. And probably a lot of guys can do um, almost 30 hours of training. That's of course, it's a lot, but it's not the hardest thing. But doing it with a lot of intensity that really makes a difference and for example i get one two three hard swim sessions a week and also one two three hard run sessions that week and on the bike i actually had my last vo2 max session on wednesday and also going into the threshold training on saturday so i already got a lot of hard training in my legs and arms which didn't make the last and hardest week easier but then my coach really decided to up things by a notch and i want to go through that week in a little more detail to show you what i've actually done so monday was basically a recovery day um, recovering from the week before that and i only had a easy swim of 5k then went to the gym for an hour, did some strength work, like really fast strength work and also a little bit of core training just to finish the day off. And then I went into the first three days of really hard training. On Tuesday I got a longish swim with a little bit of intensity as well and just an easy ride on, at noon. And then warming up for my hard run session, my first hard, really hard run session. And the hard bike, the hard run session was nine by one K building from the first to the third. So getting faster over three one K reps. The problem on that day was it was quite windy. So um, I was struggling a lot with the really fast winds of about 30 to 40 K per hour, which obviously didn't make it easier. And I just managed to hold to the pace I was supposed to do. And I was basically going the first K in 320 pace, the second K in 310 pace, and the third K in three minute pace, and repeating that for three times. Each time having 300 meters of easy recovery in between. And with the strong winds, it actually took a lot out of me um, to finish that set. But, um, well, training didn't stop there. And on the next day, I was getting up really early at 6 o'clock, starting my bike session. Um, the bike session was 30 minutes warm-up, 
and then going into a really long threshold set with 10 by 6 minutes each with a 6 minute recovery and I was riding the 6 minutes at about 340 to 350 watts which is about threshold but to be honest on that particular day I didn't feel very good and I was struggling a lot holding that wattage. It was more about the legs not wanting to push that hard. My heart rate wasn't really high but my legs really didn't want to go any harder. Then coming off the bike which was rather long in itself um, I was starting the run right away so I had a brick run and the first 3k of the brick run was rather fast pace so at about Ironman 70.3 pace um, which for me should be roughly 318, 319 per k and I was doing exactly that finishing the 3k in 9 minutes and 55 seconds and finishing off the run um, I did seven, 7 more k's in 4 minute pace after that I was pretty dusted already but not a long break in between and then diving into the pool and doing another 5k session then I was going into the third hard day in a row starting again pretty early um, with a 4 hours bike ride which was fairly easy but of course after two days of really hard training um, even a long easy ride um, might be pretty hard and the biggest problem was that there was a lot of wind especially cold winds I had to ride the whole ride um, with gloves and a cap on and basically was riding one and a half hours with the wind and then had to struggle back two and a half hours against cold winds and then in the afternoon I was just doing a long run I was supposed to do 16k but I actually struggled a lot um, just because my stomach didn't feel very good and that was of course already a sign that I had done a lot of hard training and sometimes the intestines just don't like having a lot of that hard training and I was really struggling to feel that on that run so I just um, did 14.7k which sounds pretty easy but actually I was pretty dusted after the three days so um, it was more um, of a survival run than anything else then on Friday I got my second recovery day just a easy swim 4.6k again uh, a good hour in the gym just doing my um, really fast strength work and another 30 minutes of core training this day gave me a little bit back but to be honest um, even one recovery day wasn't enough of course after almost three weeks of hard training and so I was not really sure if I could do the next two days but anyways I just thought okay I'll give it everything I have and I'll just think from set to set and from rep to rep just do every rep and set as good as I can and if I struggle at some point it's not it's not a shame because I was having such such a good two and a half weeks already so Saturday started off with a four and a half K swim and the hard set was basically 40 50s and half of them were at 200 pace so the pace I would try to hold if I swim 200 meter all out and I did those 50s in about 28 to 29 to 30 seconds swimming in the short course pool then I was going on to just a one and a half hours bike ride focusing on a rather low cadence in order to get the legs working strength orientated rather than speed orientated and then in the afternoon again a warm-up for the run and then my really hard run set which I wasn't really sure I could do so the plan was to go three two one two one kilometers hard and each at a pace of 310 for the 3k 305 for the 2k and 
three minutes for the 1k and again repeating three or five pace for the 2k and three minutes pace for the 1k and to be honest my legs were pretty dusted already of course after such hard weeks and I actually managed to go the 3k at 310 pace which was not all out it was fairly hard of course um, I wouldn't expect anything else from going 3k in 9 minutes and, and 30 seconds but there was still something le left to give and then on the 2 1 to 1k reps I actually had a hard time and my legs were starting to get pretty pretty slow but I just so managed to hold on to the times I was supposed to do and managed to finish the set which actually made me pretty proud but after the set or on the last rep I was really feeling my stomach again and that's just a sign of like the body working at its absolute limit or maybe even a little bit over the limit so after the run I was really really down the whole evening I was just lying in my bed and couldn't do anything anymore that's when I thought okay maybe I couldn't do the Sunday training after all because I was feeling so bad already but on the other hand I knew that the the feeling was coming from training and um, I know my body well enough that I knew that I wasn't getting sick so I just thought okay on Sunday just start the training see what happens and if I could actually do the training um, as I was supposed to do then would be really fine but there wouldn't be any shame in like doing it a little short um, leaving out a little bit of the intensive stuff so I was starting the day with a long run actually after Saturday evening with a lot of stomach problems I thought maybe I, I would do like 8k to 10k uh, and that's it because I really didn't feel like it but then I just went went to the run and again it was a little bit itchy in the stomach and I didn't feel great but at some point I just thought okay just do it just go keep on running and that's it's basically the last day of a hard training block so it doesn't matter if you're hurting a lot just go on running so I actually did that and then to finish off the whole training block was a three hours bike ride with seven by eight minutes of threshold so again on like the same wattage as on Wednesday keeping the wattage at about 340 to 350 watts going into the bike I thought nah that I, I can't do that um, my legs are already smashed I, I can't even hold on to 300 watts that is just impossible I, I can't do it so I just started started the session did my warm-up of 30 minutes started into the first rep and thought okay I'll just give it give it my all on the first rep and if I can't do it anymore I can't do it anymore I will stop and that's it will be no shame but I was pretty surprised that I could actually hold hold the power fairly easy on the first rep fairly easy doesn't mean easy it just means I uh, didn't have to go all out or didn't have to dig in really really deep so then I just kept on going and did the second one did the third one and I was still feeling pretty comfortable regarding that it's a really hard session and just on the fourth rep of eight minutes it was starting to get really really hard and then the fifth and the sixth and the seventh rep were really really hard basically the last rep that was just all out giving it all my, my stomach was cramping up and I was just tearing on my handlebars and smashing over the road but yeah I actually did it and it made me really happy I just had to finish off by um, 30 minutes of cool down and that's how I did the hardest week of my career to be honest I'm pretty proud I did that especially that I, that I didn't get injured or sick or anything this is really really important for my season that I have this had this really good training block and let's see what it will result in in the races so just a quick notice at the end guys even if it looks like a lot of fun all that training please don't do it if you don't have the base training it's probably possible to do that week for a lot of you guys but you always have to consider what your actual level is 
and of course I could maybe do a lot more but then I wouldn't risk getting injured or sick and it's much more about consistency being able to hold that level of training over the whole year and not just smashing it for one week of course that was a pretty hard week but it's not standing out by 100% or something it's just maybe 10 to 15% more than a regular week so don't push it too hard keep it real <laughs> thanks guys for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will probably be a lot more videos coming up in the next time not only regarding training but also races and sports politics and everything to do with my training everything to do with short distance triathlon and if you want to have me talking about something specific just leave a comment below so yeah thanks see ya